Hi everyone, welcome to the Data and Stitches show and welcome to this quick tip. Do you like working with self-striping yarn but then find yourself running out of one ball and needing to add in another and then the stripes don't add up? Well this is a tip for you. So you're working with a self-striping yarn and you've finished a cake and now you want to tie in another one but you don't want to just start the next cake even if it's the same color way wherever it just starts. You actually want to continue with this color so that you get an uninterrupted continuation in the regular self-striping mode. So here's our other cake and you can see that no matter which side I start from it's not going to be the same color as the place that I left off. So what you want to do is take a look at the direction in which your color is striping. So I've got the lighter shades, the dark brown, and then into the lighter brown again. And if I look at this, I can see that the lighter shades are in the middle. Here's the dark brown, here's the lighter brown. So I want to be going in this direction, which means I want to pull the yarn from the center and not from the outside. I don't want to go the opposite way of the way my yarn color is going. So the yarn color is going light, darkest, slightly lighter dark in this shawl that I'm working on and in this cake that's the direction if I work from the center out lighter to the darkest to a slightly less darker brown so I want to start in the middle I'm going to pull the entire middle out and find the end I'm going to grab my yarn winder and I'm going to start winding up my yarn rewinding this cake until I get to the very beginning of this lighter dark lighter brown area that matches the same color that I've got going here in my scarf so here's the middle end, the end that is found in the middle of my cake and that way I know I'm going to be working in the right direction of the color. I'm just going to start winding this onto my yarn winder and I'm going to unravel the ball of yarn from the center out and rewind it onto my yarn winder here until I get to the beginning of the color that I just left off with in the shawl. And then I will snip the yarn, I will put this yarn aside, I will continue crocheting with the correct color, and if I can need to continue um, with the project so I need more yarn, I'll just pick up this cake and I will re-examine the direction in which the yarn goes, just because at this point now it'll be going backwards. I'll have to um, probably use the color from the outside going in, but if you put a project down for a while and you need to kind of come back to it, always just take a moment to, to realize which direction the color striping is going in, depending on which end you're working from. So if you're working from the middle end, you know, the color striping is going in a particular direction. In this case, it's going from lightest to darkest and then to a slightly lighter brown. If I was working from the outside in, from the original cake, it would be the lighter brown to the darkest brown to the lightest cream color. So I'm just going to wind up my yarn here until I get to my preferred color, which is where I want to continue crocheting from. My ball of yarn is getting rather large. Oh, and there's the color change. So the color change just happened. I'm going to just unwind it a little bit until I get right back to the beginning of that slightly lighter brown, right about where it changes. And if I kind of pull it up, you can see this is the dark brown. It just starts to change about here. So I'm going to snip my yarn a couple, couple of centimeters just past that to make sure that the color matches exact. And if I'm unsure, I can take this yarn and just lay it against the fastened off, or I should say the last stitch I made on the actual shawl project. But I know that's the right color. I'll pull that aside. I will wind up what's left of that little bit of cake and I'm going to take this off my yarn winder and I'm just going to put it aside and if I need it later I can come back to it. In the meantime I'm going to come back to the cake that I was emptying and this is the color that I want to continue with. So I'm going to find my shawl here. I'm going to pick up the yarn color that I had thought was the last little bit I did. As you can see this is the color I wanted to match. I am going in the right direction with the colorway, so I won't accidentally be going from light brown to dark brown, which would be going in the opposite direction of the colorway. I've been working light cream to dark brown to a lighter brown, and I want to continue going in that direction. And as you see, I am pulling from the inside. This is the light brown, and it's going to go back up through the lighter shades. And as you can see down here, that's the direction. There's the lighter brown, it goes into a kind of a caramel color, 
into a cream, into the nice bright white, and then into the dark brown again. So I know I'm going in the right direction. And now I can just pick up where I left off and continue crocheting. And I will not have a color interruption in my self-striping color palette. And of course, if you don't use up what's left of the cake, you can just rewind it, put it on the shelf, and uh, add it to the stash. You can use it for something much later. We hope you enjoyed this little quick tip, and we will see you soon here on the Jada and Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have a great week. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. This is Mom and Stitches. Thank you for watching. Here are a few other videos you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can also click the like button and the bell. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.